September is Realtor Safety Month. I want to tell you an experience that I have a few years ago. I was doing an open house with another lady, a friend of mine. Um, we were doing just fine. Then all of a sudden, we got this guy that came in. He looked really kind of weird. So I asked him, can you please sign my registry? And he did, and he signed Dr. whatever. And I said, oh, what is your name? And he said, just call me doctor. We're like, okay, whatever. Um, but he's present. He has, we feel weird. You know, we had the sixth sense. We're like, okay, this guy is weird. So I start showing him the house, but he kept coming by my shoulder. He was like, almost wanted to smell my hair. I'm like, ah! So I keep moving around and showing him, okay, here's the kitchen and giving him all the specifications about the house. But every time I moved, he was, again, so close. And it made me feel so, so uncomfortable. So I'm making eye contact with my friend. My friend was following us as well. So she saw the remote. And so she grabbed it. And we're, like, talking telepathically to each other. We're like, something happened. You come and hit the guy because I think he's going to grab me any minute. That's what I felt that was going to happen. Um... And that was like for 10 minutes while we went around the house. So uh, before he left, he said, oh, I will make come back tomorrow. We like, oh. Because we, he knew it was advertised. We were doing the open house Saturday and Sunday. Well, those 10 minutes feel like an eternity. So when he left, my friend and I were talking. We like, okay, we need to do some safety reviews here what is something else happened like that i mean we cannot defend ourselves with just a remote control so we were looking at the cabinet in the covers in the kitchen okay where are the knives or 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 the brooms or or a stick i mean what can we do to protect ourselves other than grabbing a remote control so we left and i called one of my lender's friends it's a big guy that i know well, everybody's bigger than me, but he is a, a really tall guy and built up. So I told him what happened to us. And I asked, can you please be at the open house with us tomorrow? Because if this guy showed up, we are going to freak out. I mean, he's going to hurt us. He's going to do something. So he, of course, agreed. He was so nice. Well, then Sunday came, you know, next day. And guess who showed up at the open house? that doctor well so i said oh doctor you came back and i would like to introduce you to our lender and he was sitting so he stood up like hi doctor <laughs> he introduced himself and he looked so intimidating and the guy he was gone in two seconds so that proved to us that he was coming to do something bad to us. That was what we thought was happening. So I just want to tell you, I mean, first of all, don't do open houses alone. I mean, this is what I learned from that experience. Never do open houses alone. And if you're gonna do it with another girl, which it was my case, then prepare yourself. Okay, where are the exits? You know, be close to the door, I mean, you have to have like a safety protocol before you do an open house in case something happened. You know how to escape the house. You know how to um, also tell the neighbors, hey, I'm doing an open house. So in case you hear something, you know, I, I was doing that after that. I tell the neighbors, if you hear me scream, come please save me. You know, I'm just joking. But it's for real. You know, if something happened, I want people to come and help me <laughs> um maybe do some self-defense classes know how to i mean what if the guy had grabbed me how am i gonna get away from him things like that i mean we need to be prepared we are women but we need to uh protect ourselves and make and the, maybe the first thing is don't put ourselves in those bad situations I mean, I was doing an open house. I mean, it's nothing wrong with that. But maybe before we went in the house, before we let people in, maybe we can 
be sure that we have something else better to protect ourselves than a remote control. Um, and never, please never do it alone. Because if that happened to me with a friend, imagine if we are alone, uh, that is not a good thing. So anyway, please be safe. Do whatever it is you need to do, but be sure that you take some safety precautions. Have a great day, everyone.